And here's Harden. And there's a whistle. That'll belong to Shea Gilgis Alexander. That's his first foul. First team foul. The home team on D. There's a screen. Here's Harden. Oh, he buries the 20 footer. It matters not where James Harden finds himself on the floor. He is a legit threat to put the ball in the basket. Gilgis Alexander into the lane. Wow! Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Boy, it's incredible how much explosive scoring ability can come from the lead guard position. That is a big time play. And here's Detroit. Well, Grant, before he even hit the league, Wimbanyama was touted as the next big star from afar. You know, B.A., playing in a foreign pro league added to his mystique, B.A. We weren't getting the exposure to his game. It made it easy to wonder just how great he would be here. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Here's Harden. And Harden with the slam. You see, in pick-and-roll action, this is where the intellect, the feel, the craftiness, the mastery of James Harden is all on display. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Drops in the three. Gilgis Alexander's got seven points. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Harden. Whoa! Wow, James Harden. A little sauce in the finish. Nicely done. Who poked away? Stolen by Harden. Let's the three fly. His fourth James make in five tries. Solid start for him. With the defense trying to protect the interior, he pulls at the arc and drains it. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. I love when Shea does not just settle for a layup, finish with authority. What a pretty dunk. Screen by Holmgren. Harden fires away from outside. Jeez. From beyond the arc, and then some. 12 points for him. I mean, this guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. Pass to Tatum. Ball is coming. Next ball. Substitution for the Knicks. Number two, Lonzo Ball. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Oh, it's stolen by Gilgis Alexander. Now Wimbanyama. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ball. You see his active hands knocking that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. So it's the home team now. They trail by three. Well, pretty pass from Shea Gilgis Alexander. This guy can score it, but make sure you're lifting up the guys around you. And there's a whistle. That'll belong to Shea Gilgis Alexander. That's foul number two for him. Now here's Ball. And there's the drive. Pass to Holmgren. And here's Harden. Gilgis Alexander defending. There's a screen. Six on the shot clock. Holmgren's got room. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Well, the defense flat out awful right there, and he couldn't punish them for their mistake. 
Oh, Wimpanyama throws it down. Well, Victor doesn't have too far to go. I mean, he just pops up to the rim, makes it look so easy. Here's Ball. Takes it inside. And Ball throws it down. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. Well, you love it. Fearless, aggressive, leaving no doubt whatsoever. Crafty move. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. It's clear Ball knows the game. He makes the right play call at the right time to open things up. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Gilgis Alexander's got 12 points. Both teams are hot. Woo! This is a fun one to watch. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it, though, when your opponent does the same. And here's Bryant outside. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now here's Ball. Pass to Holmgren. Back to Ball. Kobe grabs the miss. Fast break. Here we go. And Wimbun Yama gets it to go. Six points for him. Now Jason Tatum has become an extraordinary passer. This guy knows the attention he draws, just gets his teammates involved. Harden the open look. Jesus. Nice shot from the wing. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Bad idea leaving him open. He needs more defensive attention, not less. James Harden, he's been the guy making things happen for the Knicks. And he's recorded his season high in points and hopes to add on as the game continues. More 2K action in just a moment. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Knicks? Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have been thus far. And they've also done a really good job taking advantage of miscues. Their defense has been stifling in this one. loose. Jokic on the drive. The grant last season, Nikola Jokic came close to winning his third straight MVP. But in the end, he won something more precious, an NBA title. And that finals MVP award more meaningful, both personally and in terms of his legacy, being a winner is what matters in the end. And the big fellow with the skill level, showing a soft touch at the line. Here's Ball, and he drives in, and Ball throws it down. Trading the lead back and forth, neither side is willing to back down. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Here's Pippen. Rebounded by Johnson. And Luka Doncic is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Substitution for the Knicks. Paul George. Zach Levine. And there's the screen. Pass to Porter. Oh, he missed the J after tricking the D with a nifty pass fake. Doncic with it. Guarded now by Ball. From downtown. And the basket by Pippen. Pippen's got himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Porter with it. Porter a screen. Ball taking his time here. 
Can't hit the turnaround jumper. And here's Detroit. Going inside. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. He challenges the defender and throws it down with two hands. Man, just straight power on that one. Clear the deck. But remember, this is the second overall pick back in 2001. It took Chandler a little time to get going. But boy, once the light bulb went on, wow. His hang time on the rim puts a sweet cherry on top, EA. It's a close game, and those displays of explosiveness can jumpstart a team. And Ball throws it down. Look at how deliberate Ball is on the drive. He's fully invested in finding his finish. Oh, they get a hand on it. Beyond the arc. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. And it's Jokic with the ball for Detroit. Beasley with it. Guarded now by George. Beasley, that one's good. Beasley's got himself on the board with a three there. Oh, man. I mean, the passing from Jokic is Long off the charts. Gave his man just a great look. When the defense gives you room, take it. Don't pass up the shot. And there's the call on Lonzo Ball. That's his first foul of the game. Substitution for the Knicks. Quarter number two and around three minutes gone by. And Doncic hammers it home. Luka Doncic has a big, strong frame. The N1 chance nicely done. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Detroit. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. Harden surveying the D. And then Harden with the jam. Well, at this point, James Harden has put his imprint all over this basketball game, and the defense better find a way to figure him out soon. And there's the call on Lonzo Ball. That'll be a second foul of the game. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes play. Pass to Pippen. Doncic with it. He's got five. Doncic on the take. And Doncic with the jam. Well, Luka Doncic, because he understands windows of opportunity, has the footwork and the change of pace, the drive is easy for the Don. Ball. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And he drops the first. And it's been interesting watching Ball find his place in the league. He's done a good job improving his game and focusing on the things he does best. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Pass to Jokic. Out to Beasley. Jokic the screen. And he dunks it down. And just a great screen. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. A solid read from Porter Jr. When he makes quality passes like this, it helps his team's overall chemistry. Here's Harden on the take. And Harden with the slam. Oh, my goodness. James Harden. I mean, the handle is so tight. The feel for the game. What a pretty move. Here's Doncic, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Doncic has got nine. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. And that one falls for Ball. Both teams deciding to change it up. And so Ball nails both of them. There's 25 seconds left in the second quarter. Gilgis Alexander from outside. A big triple, Gilgis Alexander. No, that's an opportunistic three-point shot from Shea Gilgis Alexander. He liked the look of it. Here's George. And George with the jam. 
a brilliant dunk. And he hangs up there for a while, too. Like he's posing for the camera. He's just hanging out, posing for pictures, just making himself at home. Well, Shea Gildas Alexander, that three-level scoring ability, that time working the mid-range. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. They lead by five. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Cross is over. That shot, no good. Oh, excellent D there from Harden. He takes it in. And Embiid with the block. You have to be aware of Embiid at all times. He's an outstanding shot blocker. Knocked away. Oh, stolen by Embiid. Pass to Tatum. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Gets the jumper from the corner to fall. Gilgis Alexander's got 21. Boy, this guy is an absolute force of nature on the offensive end. SGA, I don't know what the defense is going to do with you. Counted from distance. And now it's a 10-point Detroit lead. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Here's Gilgis Alexander. SGA doing his thing in close. It's very long, and SGA so effective around the hoop because of that length. Harden from outside. Pure from three-point range. Three points. That's 29 for him. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. No good on that one. Boy, Shea Gilgis Alexander has become a walking bucket, folks. This is now an elite NBA score. And he nails the third. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Tipped away. In transition. From deep, Wimbanyama. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. Second team foul. James Harden picks one up. And with the eight-foot wingspan of Wimbanyama, it feels like he releases the ball halfway to the bucket. Well, it's not hard to get excited about what Wimbanyama could potentially bring to the league, Grant. Yeah, I mean, possibly some of the biggest hype we've seen, B.A. Unreal ball skills at seven foot four, and he's got that drive to be the greatest. They set a pick for three. Harden can't hit. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. And it's going to be out of bounds. Timeout, Detroit timeout. will have another go. Detroit calls timeout. Two and a half minutes played here in the second half. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. What a smart pass from Wimbayama. Already adept at scanning the floor and finding open teammates. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Left side, Gilgis Alexander. Porter with the steal. There's ball with a three. And it's blocked by Embiid. Here's Stackhouse. And hits a three from the wing. Stackhouse has got his first three points of the game. He made the most of that opening, teaching the defense a lesson. 
And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Here's Doncic. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. Boy, you've got to love how Doncic uses his frame and his build. This guy will power right through contact. Here's Stackhouse. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Beasley with it. Now Porter defending. And it's Beasley penetrating. And down it goes. Jam that one home. That'll be a move to remember. Wow. Yeah, great creativity in the air. Here's Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. Yeah, the court awareness that Luka plays with knows exactly when and where to deliver the pass. Pass to Holmgren. Here's Porter. He's guarded by Beasley. Here's Bosch. Five on the clock. Back to Porter. The rebound by Beasley. To the inside. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. Well, seven foot three doesn't need much of a vertical. Easy finish for KP. And out of bounds. Detroit will have it. I'm not sure what happened there. You just can't give away possessions in this league. Here's Pippen. He's got five. And it's Doncic missing. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Ball no good. And Porzingis has got the ball here for Detroit. It's a 22-point lead, the most they've led by. Back to Jokic. Beasley outside. Takes the three. And it's Jokic missing. Right side, Levine. The three from Ball. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so it's Detroit with a commanding 22-point lead going into the break. Their efficiency has been off the... And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Here's Ball. That one rolls around and rims out. Doncic with it. Guarded now by Ball. Pass to Jokic. From about 19, Doncic shot is good. Well, Luka Doncic on the receiving end of a quality pass. We usually see him with the ball. And so the ball out of bounds. Beasley touched it last. Substitution for the next. Number two, Larry Johnson. And there's a pick for three. George. Offensive board to the left wing. Bosch. No good with the triple. Pass to Beasley. Fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering it home like that. Up top, George. Here's Chandler. Doncic grabs the miss. Pass to Porzingis. Buries it down low. And they're really rolling right now. That lead keeps getting bigger and bigger. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. And that's a defensive lapse. A shooter of his caliber can't be left wide open. Here's Pippen. Jokic with it. Guarded now by George. They grab their own miss. Inside. Here's Pippen. Second shot opportunity. No good. A bit long that time. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. For three, George on target from range. George has got six here in the quarter. 
gorgeous. That pull-up jumper is simply gorgeous. Paul George rises above everyone. Here's Doncic. And Doncic hammers it home. Woo! When you finish like that, you deserve to grab. <laughs> Impressive. No question. How about that from your point guard, gentlemen? Playing big at the rim. Okay. Snatched up. Johnson on the wing. Clock at six. Here's ball. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. He's such a creative player. Ball is especially clever at figuring out ways to draw fouls. And so Ball nails both of them. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Stolen by Ball. And out of bounds. Detroit will have it. Substitution for the Number 13, Paul George. And the call will be against James Harden. James Harden. That's his fourth foul of the contest. It's just a bad foul. Gotta be smarter than this. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Soft touch off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got 30 points. And trying to put the game away, he's been nails all evening. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Pass to Harden. Shot clock at six. No good on the triple. And here's Detroit. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. Good. And the assist to Wimbanyama. Gilgis Alexander's got five points now in the quarter. Harden from outside. We've got 123 left in the game. There's the three. The rebound by Jason Tatum. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Outside Harden. And there's the whistle. That'll belong to Shea Gilgis Alexander. That's his third foul of the game. Outside Harden. Pass to George. Stolen by Bryant. Terrific anticipation by him, and that's why he's out on the court. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Detroit. You have to be a fan of the energy they played with on the defensive end. Active hands and feet, and it's come up big a few times for them. Another thing I thought they did well was pressure. They forced a ton of turnovers, turned those opportunities into points. An exceptionally skilled player. You hope Michael Porter Jr. stays healthy. I mean, his potential is limitless. And the second free throw is good. And he makes all three. Forty-one seconds left in the game. Pass to Wimadyama. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Fires the three. Buries it from three. Gilgis Alexander's got 39. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. Shooting for the next. James Harden. And so he makes both from the line. James Harden brings tremendous versatility. He can score it. He can distribute. Whatever you need from him offensively, he can provide it. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Here in the second half, they've just found better shots. And I think what's happening is they're getting their shots within the flow of their offense, and you can clearly see the difference. Outside Harden. And the three off target. And so the home crowd treated to a win. Well, this might not have been the most competitive.